All right, today we are moving our brooder, outside brooder. That's where it was. And we are using the old roll, roll it out method. So it's actually not that bad. I was doing it by myself for a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to push here and uh, see if we can get it all the way over to where the rest of the flock's at. We did it! Now comes another hard part. Donald's bringing the bricks. We're gonna get this off the ground. You said we're going too high? Yep. So we're gonna go too high. I'll get these, um, I'll get the poles out of the way. Where do you want the poles at? Put them over there with the wood pile. With the wood pile? You okay. know what? Put them right over there. In that other wood pile? Yeah. All right, and here comes Stupid and his crew checking everything out. Hi, oh, guys. And this will be nice, too, because uh, we'll have everything in one location, and we won't have to worry about going back and forth. So we just got the one pen that will be over here, and come this uh, spring, we'll get the geese and the ducks back out there. Um, right now, we're just kind of letting the land rest so we can grow but it, it is open for the chickens to go and investigate but are you liking those potato leaves guys yeah all right let's get to work There we go. Get it opened up. A lot of potato vines. Yeah. Just dump them on the ground. Oh, they're gonna fall across into the. Well, no. Goat. Well, I'd say no. The chickens have been eating them, so let's oh, just yeah, let's just give them to the chickens. Well, this thing, for it not being used for a year, is in pretty good shape. Yeah. So. We need to do some painting on it. Yeah. Oh, there's a hook right here. Oh. You know what? what it is. This thing broke. Oh. That's right. I got another one in the shed. Is that the one that held this up? Yeah. I think it's because of this light. Or remember, I think we got to shave it because it's warped. Yeah. And that's why. That's right. I can do it. We're not going to use it for another month or so. Yeah. We just had to get it off the mound so that we can build the rest of the raised beds. Yeah. Because we had to get the... This, we couldn't bring the raised beds because where we were going to put them, we would have had to drug this thing right through. Yeah. So we had to move this first before we can continue with the... Uh, the plan but this makes a really nice brooder yeah and it's going to be more convenient for us in the long run yeah i just have to get power over here well that's that's not a problem we use extension cords right now but you can we got the conduit you know we could easily use this but we got to get this ditch dug out so that yeah. way we got water flow the water will flow the right direction yeah well i got direct burial for uh, this running power out to here. Mm -hmm. um, when I run the power from the house to the shed, I'll use conduit in that. Okay. And then I'll do direct burial out to here, but I'm gonna have to dig down real deep where that ditch is so mm -hmm. that uh, we won't have to, have to worry about hitting that power. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and close it up and let's put these um, little, st will these, uh, 
prop, uh, the stick props lay on top of that with no problem. There we go. That way we can keep that protected too. That's perfect. And the reason we have it positioned this way is because right behind here, that's the Gulf of Mexico. So any storms, hurricanes, the wind blows this way. The backside of this uh, brooder does not open. So they will be protected from any onslaught of rain and whatnot. And then because this is north, northwest, northeast, the sun during the summertime is always over here. So it, they'll have direct sunlight when this is open. So it's like, it's like perfectly angled. Well, they are just eating that up, aren't you guys? That and uh, we propped up the... Um, tomato plant. Uh, yeah, the spontaneous tomato plant. This was laying on the ground. It wasn't standing up, but we found... This is not an Everglades. We thought it was an Everglades. It's something else. No, the leaves are way too big for Everglades. Yeah, this is... I'm I not sure. Some type of aroma. It might be aroma. And then we found another one on the mound, so we're going to go to the mound. But we're just going to let that grow until it either dies or we get the first frost, huh, honey? Yeah. <laughs> we're slowly getting this area ready. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but once we get that pile behind you moved again, we're going to have to... We're, we got to clear up this area if we're going to put more brooders out here or, or like, more... Um, cages. Yeah, we got pens. rabbit pens that we want to set up out here. Yeah, we want to start doing rabbits. Um, we want to make a milking stand for Bonnie. Yep. Um, and then we definitely want to finish getting rid of the uh, trash over there, and get the tires out of the truck because we're going to use the tires for raised beds also. So. We got a lot to do this winter, huh? Yep. Being sick this past week hasn't helped any. Yeah, and then both of us had mu pulled muscles in our backs and our butts, and <laughs> I still can't get over that. You sprained your butt. Yeah, sprained my butt. So, why don't we, um, let's go take a look at the mound, the All septic right. mound covers, make sure it's okay, and since it's been a while. That and um, I think after we get done with this, we need to tend to the banana racks. We have that one rack that went bad, so you're gonna have to cut down the. Um, yeah. Gonna have to cut down that banana, and we need to figure out if we want to take care of the cassava. Oh, look, your lemongrass is going to seed here. Yeah. Nice. Um, we did have a couple people come out and quote us the removal of the sycamore here boy look at all the monkey balls up there <laughs> they call them monkey balls i don't know why it's something i grew up with <laughs> but seed pods well don't leave it open because of the chickens oh we still got to move this one that didn't work out we gotta get this pole out of here but here's the other volunteer tomato um it has literally grown into my butterfly pea, but my butterfly pea is dying back because it's colder, but I put two stands here just to try to help it out. I think I might need a third one for this side. This one know. might possibly be an everglade. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, look, tiny tomatoes. There's tomatoes right here. Yep, it's an everglade. This one's an everglade. But my question is, is do we really want it growing right on the septic mound? No. So we're going to have to move it. But I want to make a bunch of cuttings from it. Oh, oh. the I beets. Think, I think your beet is ready. There's something here. This is lettuce. Is this lettuce? Look at that. Something's growing. <laughs> but the reason why we are getting rid of the sycamore is because of this. I tripped over this branch. And um, I then decided to look up sycamore trees, and apparently they have a very aggressive root system. 
This is our septic mound. So it's either that goes or we have to get this done. So tree's gonna go. Yeah. But we're still deciding on how we want to do this. We definitely want to use the tree for some things that, um, you know, Donald's got a lot of cast iron pots and pans and we don't have any hot plates. So we're thinking we could easily cut yeah, they'd some, make some good hot plates. Yeah, they make some good hot plates. All right, let's take a look at a mound here and then use the rest of the tree for other things around this homestead. Is the actual septic tank. That's a septic, yeah. So we need to, there's the board that we use to prop up the, uh, that one side. So we got to keep that board. We need, are we going to try and clean this today or did you want to wait? Ah! Oh, I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> Woo. Well, that one cleared my sinuses. Let me get this board. This was a board we used to prop up, uh, that one broken side, so we got to keep a hold of this. Yeah, we got to get the get the rest of these bricks and get them over there to that brick pile, so we can get all the bricks in one location. Just hang it on the fence. I can always wrap it up later, but yeah, this is our septic top. That's a Cooper toy. Ooh. And we haven't, we really haven't messed with this in, wow. in a very long time. What's this blue thing here? Something blue. Oh, I found the feet for that uh, feeder. Oh. I found the feet to that uh, water, that waterer. Look at that sweet potato. Where? Just it over there. Holy cow! That's a big boy! Nice! You know what? That's one thing we didn't do this year. You know that, honey? We didn't do any sweet potato harvest. Yeah. But I think we're better off picking like see like this one probably might this is probably like the perfect size yeah that's we'll nice that. yeah because if they i mean don't get me wrong we like pulling out the massive stuff but they taste really woody hey take some of these vines and let's toss it around here to suppress these weeds over here because that's a, a pain in the butt to like um, mow and weed whack around. Got out of his way. But the sweet potato vines have done really well in keeping the, uh, the grass in check, huh? And the weeds. Yeah, we're just tossing them on the ground right there. And we eat these leaves all the time. Yeah. You guys gave us the... gotten lots of comments about you guys are throwing away all those good greens. So one day we Take did a try it. Panoramic view of that over there. <laughs> we got plenty. We have more than we could possibly eat. We are. We're gonna have to. Um, we we're gonna have to mow the mound one day, you know, just to get the. Yeah, that is all sweet potatoes out. There. Yeah, it starts over here, and just runs through the swing set down this mound. Now this area floods a lot, so it's always got a lot of moisture in it. So these potatoes vines have just gone completely nuts. And the potatoes. We don't usually harvest out of here unless it's been dry for a while. Yeah. Because they, uh, the, the potatoes rot on in the ground. Mm -hmm. But we don't really care because we use it more as ground cover. Yeah, so we don't have to mow. 
And then also it feeds the, the banana trees. It's constantly feeding the banana trees. Yep. Anything that rots in the ground, the banana trees will take care of. So, but yeah, over here, oh, Look there's some little ones. little ones. Oh, there's the crows. Oh no, that's a vulture. But over here, I mean, it's so deep. Look at this. I mean, it's almost up to my knees over here. But, uh, you know, Donald, we got the, uh, whoa, something happened here. Yeah, I pulled those out. Pulled what out? The uh, poles and stuff. Oh, the poles were here. Oh, yeah, I see two more. Got to get rid of But how are our green beans, our second? <laughs> yeah, they're not doing that great. No. But, hey, it was an experiment. We tried. I got more beans. Yeah, I don't think they do too well with the cold. I think it's too cold for them at night. So we may have to pull them out. And then um, we found another tomato plant over here. Oh, let's pull these beets out. Let's take a look at these beets. Ow, something just stung me. Son of a biscuit eater. Ugh. Oh, so that, that's the saddest little bunch of beets I've ever seen. Yeah, but you got a couple beets. I got a. I got two beets. <laughs> or three. Oh, look at that. Here, that little one. Oh, I didn't see that. Put it right there so I can carry it. And then, is that oh. lettuce here? that one or is that a it can't be a beet i think it was a beet that didn't didn't take yeah look at your little peppers yeah your little tiny peppers are still hanging on here well i got a nice one there yeah all right let me put these beets over here but yeah we have another this tomato plant um Holy cow, Donald, the tomatoes. Under here. Holy moly. Pick it up. Wow, look at all these. <gasps> look at them all. We got to get, you know what? Look at that. Um, Look at them. These, this was the Roma on this yeah. end. There's two more of those um, round things over there. Go grab it and we'll, let's go ahead and prep this up then with those round things. All right, hold on guys, we're gonna do some engineering here. All right, so we got it propped up, but yeah, we got a lot of tomatoes in here, a lot. Little ones, some big ones. So we might get a little second harvest, honey. Yeah. That, that'll be good, cause I can eat them. So nice volunteer tomatoes. Yeah. And then the Everglades one we could easily take and turn do some cuttings when we get those uh when we get the shipment of uh stuff in. Yeah, I got a lot of I want to get some cuttings off of that one that's growing over top of the uh growl pen too. Okay. That thing we need to do a video just on that. I've never seen a tomato plant reach out like that. I mean it's it's 20 foot long the tomato plant yeah it grows up over the top of the pen and then runs all the way to the <gasps> oh you're side. talking about in the grow okay yes yeah. and that's all everglades too yeah that yeah thing is you know some of those branches are 20 foot long i've never seen a tomato plant with branches mm -mm. that are 20 foot long yeah definitely different so all right so i think we're gonna call it a day well, at least a break for a little bit. Break for a little bit, yep. All the crows are out for some reason. Hmm, aye, aye. Your moringa is blooming. Yeah, but I got no seeds this year because remember we transplanted the moringa. Yeah, and it set it back. Yep, so I'm going to grow some more this year. I'm going to start some, some from seeds. Yeah. And 
That way we can plant that moringa in different areas of the property. But um, I think we did really good today rolling that thing all yeah, the way yeah, down. Did pretty good. Yeah. Good job. It took a little longer than I thought it was going to, but we got it. But we got it done. That's all that matters. All right, let's go and get some drinks.